Is it the right time to buy or sell CrowdStrike stock? In this video, we will delve deep into CrowdStrike. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, December 12, 2023. Now, we are here to provide you with a more comprehensive analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You wouldn't want to miss any important updates that could affect your investments. Elevate your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of October 30, 2023, our system has ranked CrowdStrike as a hold slash accumulate, with a score of 0.00. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. Surpassing our expectations, CrowdStrike has gained an impressive 42.35% since we initially recommended buying it 31 days ago. This translates to an average daily return of 1.37% since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. A score of zero indicates that our system foresees high volatility and risk for the upcoming trading day. Given the latest developments, it's difficult to predict the stock's next direction, as it could go either way. The stock has broken through a strong short-term upward trend, indicating an even stronger rate of growth. If there is any pullback, the current trend broken at $242.44 will provide support, offering a possible second opportunity for a profitable move. According to Fan Theory, the next potential resistance level is $272.90, which may not be easily surpassed at the first attempt. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential 48.74% change in the next three months, with a possible return ranging between 26.86% and 45.09%. On the other hand, the 12-month trend suggests a 73.98% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging between 35.55% and 73.98%. This indicates a price range of $336.91 to $432.43 after 12 months. Our latest update on CrowdStrike is quite promising. On Tuesday, the stock had a great day, experiencing a positive trend. The stock price of CrowdStrike increased by 0.640% on Tuesday, reaching $248.55 from $246.97. This marks the seventh consecutive day of gains. While it's uncommon for stocks to consistently rise for so long, it's expected for there to be occasional dips. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $243.27 and a high of $250.27, a total fluctuation of 2.88%. In the past 10 days, the stock has risen in 9 of them, resulting in a 17.05% increase over the past 2 weeks. The trading volume also increased on Tuesday, with 91,000 more shares being traded compared to the previous day. In total, approximately $708.02 million worth of CrowdStrike shares were bought and sold, with a total of 3 million shares being traded. Looking at the performance over the past year, the stock's highest price was $250.27, while the lowest price was $92.25. Currently, the price is 0.69% below the 52-week high, which amounts to $1.72, and it is 16.73% below the all-time high reached on November 10, 2021, when the price reached $298.48. Today, we'll be discussing the latest analyst ratings for CRWD. Mizuho Securities recently gave CRWD a buy grade with a hold action. Goldman Sachs also rated CRWD as a buy with a hold action. Oppenheimer gave CRWD an outperform grade with a hold action. Piper Sandler rated CRWD as overweight with a hold action. Barclays also gave CRWD an overweight grade with a hold action. Analysts have given CrowdStrike stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as a strong buy and the price to book as a strong buy. 
As for the return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. Let's take a look at the signals for CrowdStrike. The CrowdStrike stock is showing positive indicators from both short and long-term moving averages, suggesting a favorable outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal when comparing these two averages, as the short-term average is above the long-term average. In case of downward corrections, there is support at $242 and $207.08. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, sell signals may be triggered. On Thursday, October 26, 2023, a buy signal was identified from a pivot bottom point, resulting in a 44.81% increase so far. This upward trend is expected to continue until a new top pivot is reached. Moreover, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is also indicating a buy signal. The volume of trades is increasing alongside the price, which is considered a positive technical signal. Here are some other signals that might interest you. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence, which is giving a buy signal. Pivots also indicate a buy signal, but this was observed 33 days ago. Bollinger bands are showing a buy signal that occurred 20 days ago. The short-term moving average has given a buy signal 31 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average has given a buy signal 32 days ago. Now, let's analyze the 12-month chart. The short moving average indicates a buy signal 29 days ago. However, the long-term moving average suggests a sell signal that occurred 157 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages shows a buy signal that occurred 190 days ago. If you want to explore more signals, visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike has found support from accumulated volume at $236.99. This level can be seen as a potential buying opportunity because when the support is tested, we can expect an upwards reaction in the stock price. However, it's important to note that this stock may experience significant movement during the day, indicating high volatility. The Bollinger Band also suggests a large prediction interval, further emphasizing the high-risk nature of this stock. In the past day, the stock has shown a $7 difference between its highest and lowest points, representing a 2.88% fluctuation. Over the last week, the stock has exhibited an average daily volatility of 2.85%. Before we discuss potential trading levels for CrowdStrike, let's start by reviewing some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either not making any profits or is experiencing losses. It's not uncommon for well-established companies to go through tough times, often due to factors beyond their control. However, a consistently negative P-E ratio could indicate insufficient profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other updates, the next earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled to be released on March 5 th, 2024. Let's now dive into potential day trading levels for CrowdStrike. Currently, there is no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, indicating the stock could experience a swift upward movement under favorable conditions. This presents an opportunity for you to enter a position and use volume as a guide to determine when to exit. On the downside, CrowdStrike encounters its first support level at $236.99. If this support level holds, it could serve as a promising entry point, with the potential for a rebound. The average rating for CrowdStrike from multiple analysts is buy. Now, let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On December 7, 2023, O'Leary Dennis conducted an insider sell of 2,610 shares of Class B common stock. On December 7, 2023, O'Leary Dennis conducted an insider sell of 1,430 shares of Class A common stock. On December 7, 2023, O'Leary Dennis conducted an insider buy of 2,610 shares of Class A common stock. On December 7, 2023, 
O'Leary Dennis conducted an insider sell of 2,610 shares of class A common stock. On December 7, 2023, Davis Carey conducted an insider sell of 6,200 shares of class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 33.355. Overall, insiders purchased 685,025 shares and sold 1,301,160 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $240.80, which represents a decrease of 3.12%. This particular stock exhibits high daily movements, which inherently carries a higher level of risk. Additionally, the RSI 14 indicator is currently at 94, further increasing the risk associated with this stock. However, it's worth noting that there is a buy signal detected from a pivot bottom that was identified 32 days ago. Is CrowdStrike stock a good buy? While CrowdStrike holds several positive signals, we believe it is not yet a strong candidate for a buy. It would be prudent to hold or accumulate this position and wait for further development. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, December 13th, we anticipate CrowdStrike to open down by $1.19, starting at $247.36. Before we begin, let's remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing the information provided, you accept and bear responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we're taking a closer look at the current view of this stock. We value your opinion so please share your thoughts in the comments section below. What's your target for this stock? We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest insights. Wishing you successful trading and a beautiful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.